You want to keep it real, you know the deal, keep you up on yeah, it won't be the same, say what's his name, Clint Cole, 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 listening to advice from a football. Ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned in to a new episode of Advice from a Fuckboy. This is your favorite fuckboy, Clint Coley, a.k.a. the Gallus Dem Sugar, a.k.a. the People's Champion, a.k.a. James Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here live on Instagram, of course, man. Um, uh, it's Thursday night, was the week before Christmas and all through the house. <laughs> uh, first of all, pr appreciate y'all listening to the last episode, man. We got, we got a lot of great feedback talking about uh, whether or not you should get Christmas gifts. Uh, it's been great, man. So I'm excited about that. Real quick, before I get into the podcast, you know I got to give y'all my... Um, I got to give you guys my uh, spew about where I'm going to be. December 27th, December 28th, that's four shows. That's DC. I'm not doing a podcast. I'm doing stand-up. Come on through. Get your tickets. Again, y'all always be like, Clint, why don't you come on a Saturday? Why don't you come on a Friday? Here it is. It's happening. Friday, the 27th, Saturday, the 28th, I'm going to be at the uh, Draft House Comedy Theater in Washington, D.C. Tickets are $20 for that. Click the link in the details to get them. Yo, D.C., y'all showed out for me all year. Yeah, man, this is the main one. This is the main event. Come on through. Philly, doing my last live podcast of the year in your city, in my city, our city. Uh, that's December 30th. Tickets are $10 for that. Swipe up, make it happen. All right. Or or you know, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Put your get you you hit the details in this in this in the in the in the, in the, in the bio. And then last but not least, of course. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to be uh, doing a uh, one-year anniversary special of Advice from a Fuckboy. We're going to do it here in L.A. We're going to do it at the Hollywood Improv. Tickets is $10 for that also. Uh, come on through. It's going to be a great time. Uh, one year, y'all. So, man, I really appreciate it. All right. Um, real quick before I get started, man, got to introduce my guest on the podcast. Uh, I put out a, like, yo, man, I need new energy on the podcast. Anybody want to come on? My girl Keisha says she'll come on. And uh, here she is. So give it up for Keisha, y'all. Yeah, make noise. Work. All right. So Keisha, I know nothing about you. That's a fact. Okay. I know nothing about you. Give, give me, give me, give me, give me your life story in Ooh, life a story. minute or less. Okay. Um. So my name is Keisha. Um, How did you know about the podcast? All of that. Okay. Cool. Um. So my name is Keisha. Um. Coco Neo So Coco on Instagram. Um. Oh, short. Just keeping it short. Okay, so I just moved to LA in January, mm -hmm. um, and I found about found out about your podcast. I think somebody told me about it. Yeah, actually, um, my friend Brandon told me about it. Yeah, Brandon um, from and, Detroit. Yeah, and you from Detroit? Exactly. Yep, from Detroit. Um, just moved out here, and mm -hmm. so like, yeah, he told me about it. Um, he was doing an episode of my podcast, mm -hmm. and we were just talking about different podcasts. Right. And um, he told me about yours. I actually came out to your live show um mm -hmm. at Comfort LA. Okay, which one? Um, the first one or the second one? It was your birthday. Okay, that was that was the better one. Okay, okay. You, you, you didn't come out to the first one. All right. <laughs> yeah, so that one was cool. Um, and then I just started listening ever since. And um, yeah, it's dope. So, but yeah, um, just moved out here. Um, got out here just like really random. I came to visit one right. time and just loved it. So that's that's exactly um, how most people. That's how I got out here. Yeah. I came out here one time and then I was like, oh shit, I'm not. Yeah. I'm never. I'm never going back to Philly. Yeah, period. <coughs> it's like I love Detroit. That's my home, of course. But right. like, no, I'm not right. moving back there. So yeah, I'm right. here. Um, I have a podcast. It's uh, called Coco and Connie. I do it with my little sister. All right, all right. We don't care about that. All yeah, right, okay. we'll talk about that later. All yeah, right, we'll okay. talk about we'll talk about. We'll, we, they gotta like you first. Don't plug your podcast. Yeah, okay. And they don't like you. You know what all I'm right, saying? Right. You know my, my my you know my, my my people who listen to this podcast. You know, Clint, they be like, Clint, you be bringing chicks on. And I don't like that. They'll tell me, don't bring that bitch back. Damn, okay. They'll definitely say that. Absolutely, <laughs> they'll definitely say that. And I and I All appreciate right. that. That's Look, man, I no, appreciate that is people. Real, though. That is you know, real. we talk about accountability on this podcast, man. My fans hold me accountable for my content. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So if they don't like a chick, they're like, they Clint, should. this bitch annoying. Get her the fuck out of here. Okay. So hopefully you're not annoying. Let's hopefully talk. Hopefully not. Oh, yeah, okay. So I've been thinking, all right, my entire 20s. You know, my cousin Tanita would always say, Clint, you are what you attract. Mm -hmm. She said, you are what you attract. 
At first, I didn't believe it. But then I turned 32. All right. How old are you? Uh, 30. You're 30. Mm-hmm. Just first 30. of all, I want to talk about being in your 30s real quick. Let's talk about being in your 30s. Nigga, when's your birthday? When did you turn August 30th? 30th. You turned 30 on the 30th. All yes. right. That's amazing. Yes. Now, to me, being 30 is probably the most lit shit I've ever felt in my life. It has been. Food is better. Sex is better. 100%. Uh, what else is better in your 30s, man? Uh, you don't even give a fuck no more. You don't give a fuck. You I can don't, just say I'm too old for that shit. You don't give a fuck no more. Yeah. Like, you legit don't care, yo. Yeah. Like, things that used to bother you back in the day, man, when you was in your 20s, man, they don't even bother you no more. Yo, you know what else is dope about being in your 30s? I always got money in my account. That's a fact. When I was in my <laughs> early 20s, I had maybe, I was lucky. Like, if I had $120 in my account... At 28, I mean, not 28, like 22, mm. I was happy with that. <laughs> like, all right, you know what I mean? If I got $122 in my account tonight, I'm going to have, like, I am I, I don't need to be, I don't need to be fucking around at a podcast. I need to be out somewhere getting some money. That's Dead ass. Like, I don't play that <laughs> shit. 30s is the greatest shit ever, yo. Like, it was like a flip switch. So what I'm saying is in my 20s, certain things I didn't understand. And now in my 30s, I understand it. Mm. And I do understand that you are... What you attract, all right? So let me say this. Let's say, uh, like, I hate, okay, I told a story on this podcast not too long ago, about a couple of months ago. I told a story about how me and this chick, um, or this chick tried to holler at me when I was in Charlotte at the airport. Uh, She worked at Burger King. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, you have no shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like because you work at Burger King, I'm, yeah, I, I, I said think it. I'm, hey, I'm the same like, way, and then so I, and then absolutely. in my mind, I was like, "What well, made you think I look like a Burger King nigga?" Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what gave you the confidence? What gave you? Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying. But yeah. then I realized, like, a lot of chicks like that don't approach me. She was mm-hmm. just bold. I gotta respect that. But a lot of chicks, you know, hood rats, they don't approach me. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because I got this aura where I'm like, "Yo, say that bullshit." Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, I realize you really are what you attract. Yeah. You know, like a lot of, in the past couple years, I'm talking about the past two, three years, all the women I've been fucking with have been, you know, they've worked for, you know, they, you know, they work for, you know, like Google and fucking, you know, they're, they're, they're fucking lawyers like and job doctors. And yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. and not to say that I'm a mooching ass nigga, I don't need them, but I'm saying it's like, that's the, like on paper, I get quality women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get quality women. All right. And I realize guys be asking, like, ah, I don't, why do I, because you keep attracting hood boogers, because, nigga, you, <laughs> you had, because you are that. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Do you feel like you are what you attract? Let's talk about this. Yes. Um, I feel like right now, um, since I've been out here, I haven't really, I've been on a few dates and shit, but I haven't really What kind of that. guys are we talking, though? Like, what, what are we um, talking Um, so. Give me a range. Okay, so you better, so, so, not even this since you, so. Give me a range of guys or kind of guys that 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 that's been that you've been fucking with lately. Um, most of them have been in the entertainment industry, okay, in some type of way. Whether, because you work in entertainment, though. Yeah, so it's like so those are the type of guys that I attract, I guess, because they uh-huh. see like we're on the same thing. Um, as far as like schedules and stuff like that, like yeah. I rarely have time because it's like between nine to five, doing a podcast, doing other shit. It's like I don't really have time. So you if got I'm, time. I have time. time. I will make time. You got time. I will make time. You got time. all the motherfucking time. No, I will make time. I'm for the type sure. of person, if I, if I fuck with something, if I fuck with you heavy, I'm going to make time for you. Right. But there's always something else I could be doing. <laughs> Somebody like, just said she got time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's always something else I could be doing. You know, I can always be doing something else. I can always be making money. So... If I make time for you, if I take even an hour out of my day to fuck with you, it's like, no, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. But, and if I don't, right. and, you know, niggas understand, like, okay, I'm not, I'm not fucking with you. So, right. and I think the type of guys that I fuck with, like, they're on the same wave. Like, right. they don't, they're busy, you know what right. I'm saying? So, if they make time for me, I feel like, oh, okay, right. you know, he actually went out of his way to make time for me, and I appreciate that. So, right. Like those type of guys, you know what I'm saying? Like not just somebody that's not doing anything. Like if you if you're not doing anything, if I can just hit you anytime and you like, I ain't doing shit. I'm playing the game. Like I'm straight. Like I don't. So I realized that I think that we attract. Like okay, like you said, you attract actors. You know what I'm saying? Like 
I don't attract like women in the industry. Not actors, but like just people. Or that... guy, I don't attract actors. I don't attract comedians. I don't attract actresses. I don't mm-hmm. attract singers. I don't attract. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I hate to say this. I don't want to date nobody in the industry. Why not? Because one, it's always a competition, man, of what you doing or mm-hmm. what you doing or what you doing. And then, like, if I got something going on, you ex- I, you know, most of the time the partner expects to be involved in some way, somehow. It, mm-hmm. it, it happens. And, and that's just my experience. Yeah. I've dated maybe two people in the industry, but I'm cool. Like, I, yeah. I, I want to date a woman who, who I don't want to, because I, I don't want to come home and talk about this shit. Yeah. I don't want to come home and talk about this shit. Yeah. I want to come home and I want to talk about pussy. Or, no, I'm playing. But, like, I want. No, 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 I feel you. I don't want to talk about this. And, and that's my thing. So I guess I don't want to, I know I don't want to, like, it's weird. So I think that I don't put out the energy though that I want that I want to deal with somebody in the industry. I don't put yeah. out I don't put out uh, industry dating vibes if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So I guess my thing is so so like I said lately I've been attracting like women who have really good jobs, women who like went to college, jobs and stuff women like that. not even just cor- cor- corporate but like women who went to college, women mm-hmm. who you know like and I'm not saying that just because you went to college you better than me or I'm better than yeah. you or anything like that. But okay, how about this? I attract educated women. I don't attract dumb Jones. I don't think... Th- I mean, I would say, like, there's some educated women in the entertainment business as well. No, that's not... Probably but, not, like... That's not, but that's not, that's not, my, that's not whatever, what I'm making. But... I, that's, not, that's not the point I'm making. I'm, I'm saying, overall, I attract educated women. It don't matter what you do. I think it's also Th- about, like, where you're at. So you're at the point where you're, like, established in what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You're successful in what you're doing. So you don't want to be with somebody that's in the same thing that's probably still grinding and stuff like that whereas to me like I'm kind of just starting off in this shit I don't so mind dating like, somebody who grind it, like like I said what I said was like I guess educate like my point what I mean is I don't I don't care what you do mm-hmm. but I'm saying is I attract women who who got it going on up here that's what I'm saying you, what, and, and the point I'm making is like like I have a certain energy where certain people just don't apply. And that's what I'm asking you. Mm-hmm. Like, do you ever have you ever had a guy like walk up to you, try to talk to you, like, nigga, you know you don't have a chance. Absolutely like, all the fucking time. So that's Literally what that's what I'm saying. Time. Like, what are you attracting? That's that's the that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, I mean, it's cause like I said, it's been a minute since I've really been on some like it's been a minute since I've seen somebody that I'm like, oh damn, like that's somebody that I would really take serious. But like as far as the guys that do approach me that I'm like, nah, right. it is like like you said, like if he's working get... at Burger King or yeah. if he's like, you know, if he's doing something that I feel like he doesn't have another hustle, if you're not doing something right. to, you know, be able to do something else, you know what I'm saying? Like right. then, then I'm straight. So one of my dudes on live just made a great point. My mm-hmm. man said, so it's like me trying to talk to Rihanna. I know I ain't on that level. Exactly. Exactly, dog. Don't even, don't even. Like our mind frames are not Don't the even same try right it, now. dog. Like, yeah, like, I mean, now me, I'm going to be honest with you. Now, I feel like I can pull anything. Okay. I feel like I can pull, I got a, <laughs> I got a fresh cut today. I feel like I'd, wa- if I saw yeah. Rihanna, I'd ask her bodyguard, excuse me, man, I want to have a conversation. I want to know if she want to go out and get fish I mean, sandwiches. she definitely had a confidence. I, I got that. Day. That's the kind of confidence I got. I'm on that, man. Yeah. That's another thing, fellas, man. You know what? I remember I said on this podcast a while ago, yo, man, know your lane, know who you shooting your shot at, blah, 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 blah. Yo, fuck that, yo. Shoot your shot at anybody, dog. I mean, and you niggas are welcome to shoot their shot, but don't get mad when I'm like, nah, you're not my type. Yeah, like, I'm just I saying. Literally I literally just had to curse somebody. <laughs> I literally just had to curse somebody the other day because it was like, the way that he came at me. Maybe if he came at me like a different way, but he was really just like on some, like, I really, like on some fucking type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, I'm on that. But it's like, don't leave with that. Like, Why Why should you? Because nigga, you're not that, like you're not that type of nigga. I'll like, definitely, you're not that I definitely leave with fuck. Be... I definitely leave with fucking. No, don't leave with fucking. I, like he, and I mean, at, I first definitely cool. leave. No. at first it was like, you know, he was like, you know, all the, the sweet, cute shit or whatever. But right. then he's just like, you know, I really want to fuck shot you. And I'm like, I appreciate your honesty, but nigga, you're not that bad. You're not bad enough to come at me like that. Like, you're just not. So no, I'm straight. Right. Like, you work at, like, Walmart or something. And not to say, like, I haven't never fucked with a nigga that work at Walmart. That's what's up. But it's, like, if that's your only hustle, if that's the only thing you're doing, right? I'm good because I'm on something else. And if you're not, like, trying to do, if you're not building at this point in your life, if you're just comfortable where you at, I don't, I'm never comfortable. Like, I'm always on some what's next, how right. can I be better type shit. Right. So it's like, I can't be with anybody that's like just comfortable at right. where they're at. Especially if it's not, if they're not at 
a level that I think they should be at. Because I'm always what do you like, mean you think they should be at? And that's so I guess one of the things that I always want to bring, I always always bring up on this podcast, man. We always talk about like guys who like you know. You know, guys wanting to struggle with women. Like, nobody want, I mean, you know, women don't know how to struggle, man. I'm 32. They ain't got time no. for that I shit. I did that man. in my 20s, so I'm not doing that in my 30s. Right, 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 right. For, now, okay. So, this leads me kind of into the next topic. We talk about guys that should not apply. All right. What, like, what gets you fired? So let's say you apply, you actually get the job. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you? First of all, let's start. Let's start here. What do you? What do you want right now? What do you want right now? What do you? What do you? Want? What's your? What's your situation? What do you? What do you want right now? Um. So right now I'm single. I'm just dating. Um, you fucking? Yes or no? Um. I fuck. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm fucking. I'm. I fucked somebody. Cause like, okay. My first <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let me tell my story. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She no, said no, it no. ain't like I'm fucking. No, no, no. Cause, cause fucking means that we're actively doing this. Like we're not fucking. We fucked a couple times. Like since I've been out here. Like I got out here in January. I was kind of okay. talking to somebody or whatever, right. and um, that didn't work out. So since from January to October, I didn't have sex at all. January and, to October. So to you October. had ten months. Exactly. Wow. Um, I wasn't fucking at all. And then this one guy that I'm like, cool with or whatever. We like fucked and then we fucked again maybe a few weeks ago, but that was like just that. So I wouldn't say we're fucking because to me fucking is fucking like, means consistent. Exactly. I can so do you, you not want to be consistently fucking this guy? I would love to. What's going on? I schedule things and like Nah, then your pussy trash. What? Pussy no, trash. No, your I pussy's... wouldn't No, then, really? Yeah. Why would you say that? Well, okay, okay. I if pussy's amazing, I got time to fuck. Okay. I got time. Okay, let's let's break this down real quick. All right. Um, and I'm joking, by the way. Don't take it personal. No, no, because I really want to know. All right. Like... Um, no, I'm serious, but I'm like joking. So look, <laughs> let's say okay, okay, okay. You're you're. You said you didn't fuck from January to October. Yeah. All right. Then a magical day in October came, mm -hmm. and you fucked. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now how? Now since now today is December. Today is well. This episode comes out tomorrow, but today right now is what the nineteenth or the eighteenth? Uh, nineteenth. Today's December nineteenth. Yeah. So have you? How many times have you fucked between December between October Twice. and December? Yeah. But see, okay, so <laughs> like, after, like, no, there's no way. That, all right, was, now for me it's different because I'm on the road every weekend. That's what I'm saying. Like so, after that, I was out of town. But for I, like, but we're just, we're gonna fuck way more time from October to now. We would have fucked at way that's more that's than two we're times. Not fucking like we fucked. Yeah, a couple mean, times but you school. said you want to fuck. I'm asking is it, is that on you? You said yeah, I want to fuck more often. Yeah. So I clearly he like, don't want to fuck more often. Mm. That's all I'm saying. Like if if. I don't let good pussy go to waste. I don't let good pussy just thaw out in the sink, you know, mm. for somebody else. No, I don't let I don't let good pussy go to waste. Yeah. All right. I collect it. I pick it up. I get it. I eat it. I talk. <laughs> I, I want it. I beat the nigga. No man. We. That's what I'm. That's what we own in 2020, fellas. No good pussy goes to waste. All right. If so there's a me. girl that you fucking that you got, and she got good. And she got good yams. What your job is to do, fellas, is make sure you consistent out here. Yeah. So right now, so you say, so my thing is, oh boy, you need a new nigga. I mean, yeah. You need better niggas. That's the thing. In your That's 30s, okay. you start dating, okay. see, I start dating better bitches. But see, with that though, because I felt like, you know, this person, like, I mean, I don't even want, I don't even want to talk about that. What? Talk about it. No, no, no. No, talk about it. <laughs> no, because it's like, this person is cool. Like, this person is a, one of the type of people I would date, but... I don't want to necessarily like get serious or nothing like that. You ain't gotta get serious to fuck. Right? That's a fact. You ain't gotta get serious to fuck. I mean, I would like to fuck. And I I mean I would like to have sex with him on a consistent basis. Okay, so you're here in LA. Are yeah. you look are you so let so so let's do this. Okay. We're gonna put a dick ad out for you. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna put a dick uh, ad out for you. All right, so we gonna put a help we're gonna put a help wanted sign. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's do let's put out a dickhead. All okay. right, so let's we're making the we're making the you Keisha need dick flyer. Can I say what kind of dick I want though? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, like? no, no, okay. we're gonna we're gonna you're gonna make this flyer. So if okay. you were making a flyer, okay, if you were making a flyer for you need new dick, okay, all right, what would what would be on the flyer? Now, first of all, is your name Keisha or is it like short for like? It's short for something, but I don't go by it, so just Keisha. 
Okay, because I mean, I'm, I'm tired of calling, like, it's, it's, it's always it's Keisha. a Keisha. It's always a Keisha. But it's going to be Keisha. All right, anyway, let's go, Keisha. All right, so Keisha, here we go. We got the dick ad out for you. Okay. It's the dick flyer. What we putting on the flyer? All right, so have to be at least six foot. Um, I would like... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up? Time out, time out, time out. Let's, These let's... are my preferences. What? You want six foot dick? At, le- at least. So why do you want to got... Why do you want a guy? What does six foot have to do with dick? Your dick? I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. So if he's like six foot and weighs a certain amount, like two something, he just have to be able to pick me up. Period. Like I, I like niggas to that's five eleven can pick you up. Mm, okay. Five ten can pick okay. you up. So so just, let me ask you a question. You know Mike Tyson is five eight, right? I didn't know that. But would you would you not would you not would you agree that Mike Tyson can pick you up? Okay. He can. No, he Come can. Come on. Like, let's he not can. do that. You know damn well Mike Tyson. Okay. He can. But go he ahead. Can. All right. So you want six foot. But I like he- taller guys, though. All right. So all that's, right. that's the thing, too. So a little taller. Right. Um, At least six foot. Okay. So six um, foot. You six want six foot. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, Alexa. I can wait on you. Play six foot, seven foot, <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wayne. I'm not. <laughs> six foot, seven foot. Featuring Corey Guns by Lil Wayne. Where is the <laughs> You know okay, what? so that's the kind. This is the kind of dick you were looking for. Not that skinny. But this was a bop too, by the this way. Is hard. No, this. Is okay, Alexa, one. stop playing music. That Go was ahead. a bop. Okay, let me. That was a bop. Let me get it out though. Go ahead. Six. All foot. right, six foot. Um, about two hundred some pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just like a big, a nice build. You know what I'm saying? Nice arms, nice back, like a nice, nice legs too. Now, if you big as fuck at the top and little at the bottom, I'm not doing that. Like, I don't like skinny legs. Have some nice... Your thighs got to be thicker than mine. So, mm-hmm. nice legs. nice, Just a nice build all around. Um, Dark skin, light skin, I'm not really... Hey, either one. You know what I'm saying? Have to be black, though. I love black guys. That's it. You better love... You best what you better... Listen, look, first of I all... Don't date I first of all, First of all, as much as I love black... I talk about how much I love black women on this podcast... If any, first of all, and I'm going to put this out there to any black woman that comes on this. If you're a black woman and you come on this podcast and you start talking about fucking white guys. Oh, absolutely and you start not. talking about Matthew McConaughey. He I, bad though. I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, your ass is, you're, you're out of here. You're he impeached. Bad, you're impeached. <laughs> all right. No, black eyes only. Only black dick only. I can only do that. Or if you're black and Puerto Rican, holler at me. They're my favorite. Um, But... Um, so you have to be black. Um, and I mean, that's just, that's the physical thing of it. You know what I'm saying? Physically, like, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, what else? What, what other? Uh, what's on the flyer? So. Cause I mean, if we so, just talking about fucking. So like if I, okay, I'm about to make. Mandigo dicks, I don't do Mandigo dicks. Here's what I'm about to do then. This okay. is what I'm about to do. Oh, this is going to be dope, right? <laughs> this is going to be dope, right? I am going to make a recording. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, this podcast is brought to you by Keisha Needing New Dick. All right? I will put that at the beginning of this podcast. <laughs> you'll get it. I'll say you'll get it when you listen to the podcast. So, okay, okay I'm going to make an ad for you. So, you want okay. six foot. You six want foot. B- six foot. Be able to pick me up. Okay. Black man. Yes. Non-Mandingo. Yep. What else? Um. Okay, non-Mandingo. Um, if you can have an educate, like a, a good education, you know what I'm You saying? need educated dick? Um, just be able like, to have Like, what that got to do with the dick? No, no, no. Because, listen. Retarded be, niggas can just, fuck. Just be able to have a conversation <laughs> before or after. Like, if we can talk about, like, music or something, like, just You don't get, need an education me, to talk about music? Get stimulated in some type of way. Okay. Um, then, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we can have a dope, like, after sex talk session. Like, I like those. Them is nice. Or, if you gotta leave, hey, whatever. Um, but, yeah. Just be, you know, have a good conversation. So you Basically. want conversation dick? Yeah, good conversation. Be interesting. Be be interesting. That's a, you asking for a lot for some dick. God damn. That's a lot to go on this flyer. I mean, so if it's just the dick, no, then keep just going. Physical, I mean, I get it. Come just on, the physical. Yo. Okay, so no, no, you can have emotional too. What else? Yeah. Okay. So um, what else? You you can have be whatever emotionally you want. unattached to any other people. Um, oh, so you want him to be like you? You kind of want solo dick. I just want yeah, I don't really want to share right now. You don't want to share Because I want it to be consistent. At least if I'm you sharing, be... I don't want to know I'm sharing. If I'm sharing, just let it be like, you know, just be there when I want you. I don't want to feel like, I always, well, I don't always say, but I just started saying the other day, like, I don't mind competition as long as the, it doesn't feel like I'm competing. So if you make it feel like, make me feel like 
I'm fighting for your time and oh, you are with other bitches and shit like that. I'm straight. I'm good. But you know what I'm saying? If you if um, you hit me with the sexes, if we're talking, people people that's on live are saying you kind of want a relationship. Because okay. that's what this sounds like. All right, I want a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> but you just said you didn't want but one. Not every day though, because I don't. You don't be, want a relationship every day. No, because I don't want to look. I don't want to be responsible for someone else's feelings either like there's times oh if you're in a relationship you're definitely responsible for my that's what i'm saying and i don't want to be all the time like we can have you know a couple weeks out the month where it's like oh shit you know what i'm saying but then i'm gonna need those other couple of weeks to focus on me like you can focus on you with having me around you do know that right as as long as you're not greedy and not you know what i'm saying like i mean i mean i get it i get it i get it some people want a lot i've been in situations where niggas just want a lot of your time want a lot of your energy and i don't always have it i can have it a few days of the week a few days of the month but not all the time okay all right so you want okay so okay so on this flyer Mm -hmm. all right what you really want is like a part-time nigga Exactly. That's it. That's exactly. You want a part time boyfriend. 30 hours a week, 25 that, to 30 hours a week. I can respect that. That's it. You know what? Now that's better. Ladies and gentlemen, Keisha wants a part. Is look okay. So this is what we gonna. I'm gonna put this ad at the beginning of this podcast. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is brought to you by Keisha wanting a part time boyfriend. What that means is she doesn't. She wants your dick. She wants your time, but not all your time. She wants your company, but not all your company. And she want you. And she don't want to feel like she's sharing you. If this is the job for you, fellas, do me a favor. Send me a text. 213-358-9861. That's actually my real phone number. 213-358-9861. And what you do is you say, Clint, give me Keisha. And then we're going to we're going to have the candidates DM you and we're going to bring you back on the podcast. And one of you motherfuckers is going to go on a date with her. Okay. And we're going to make this shit happen. And the date is on me. Oh shit. Okay. Boom. This is cool. Because that's why I'm the people's <laughs> champion. This is dope. I feel like I'm on a uh, love connection. It's lit. <laughs> you know? That's lit. Okay. We can definitely do that. All right. Um. Love connection. Isn't, wasn't that like bachelor number one and bachelor? No, no, no. Yeah. That. You go on like three dates. Yeah. And then you choose Bachelor number the one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or they choose you or something like that. Right. Yeah. That's dope. That, that is was, dope. What happened to those date kind of dating shows? Love Connection is still on. Nigga, I remember back in the day, remember the episode of, I forget it was, I think it was, uh, was it Jamie Foxx? Martin. Chris, Martin, where Chris Rock yes, was the Yes, that's my, one of my favorite episodes. Or Love episode. Connection and shit. shit. Nigga, I, I missed that. <laughs> God damn. No, I Love Connection still come on though. But I remember was, like, um, what was that? Uh, yo, I was, wait a, lim- a minute. Eliminate. Talk about, I was on the dating show, y'all. Which one? I was on Excused with uh, oh, Liza no. Schlesinger. It was that came, BC? It came on CBS. Oh, no. Yeah, my shit was on primetime. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> um, no, no dead ass. I was on hell date. I was my shit. I was on a del- I was on a dating episode this uh this 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 decade. Uh so here's what happened. This date this shit was funny too. <laughs> uh me and this chick. So so here's how the here's how the format went, right? So anybody that remember the show Excused, all right, so here's what happened. You would have a girl, so so it would either be two girls and four guys, mm-hmm. or uh, two guys and four girls. Okay. So the two, so there be four. So in my episode, it was four, it was me out of four guys. Okay. And they had to choose two of us in the house to go on a date on. Okay. So you know, I'm standing there. I'm I'm I mean, I had like a little small little profile, like, hey, my name Clint. I'm from Philly. <laughs> blah 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 blah. And all I did was I flashed a smile. <laughs> So then, so they picked me and they picked this other six foot muscular guy, right? Mm-hmm. B- both of us was black, so right? And the two girls that were choosing were black, all right? Okay. One was a Delta too. Shout out to you, yo. So then, <laughs> what ended up happening was though, we fucking uh, what we do? Uh, so you would go on, you would go on a like a like a short date with each of them, mm-hmm. all right? And then both of them would choose who you who they liked the best, and okay. then they then you would go on a one on one date like afterwards, right? Yeah. So they go on a date with me and old boy. They both chose me. Mm. Bet. All right. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? So now I get like romantic time, like serious yeah. quality time with each one of them, right? And then I had to choose between one or the other. So off camera, old girl was like, you know, the one the reason why I fuck with you because you from Philly. And I was like, oh, shit. She's like, yeah, because I'm from Philly. Okay. I said, oh, no, that's, that's 
Melissa in the bag yeah. now, baby. You know what I'm saying? She from Philly. Yo, I was like, oh, I was excited. To, yeah. She really wasn't from Philly. She's from Chester, which is a whole nother situation. But okay, is we, that like we, a suburb? Or yeah, something? but Chester the hood. Nigga. Oh, like got Chester's, you. Chester's, got Chester's you. a problem. <laughs> Anyway, long story short, we fucking next, you know, we we fucking um, we 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 talked about it off camera. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, now we 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 got a plan. Like, look, yeah. we gonna win. So, uh, she um, she chose I, ch- I chose her. Mm-hmm. And then it comes down down time for like then there's the final one. Like now, if she want me back, mm-hmm. she show up at this little gazebo situation. Yeah. Or if not. Then she, she. I think I do remember this. So long story short, during our date though, I poured like rose petals on her, and the <laughs> production people was like, "Yo, you gotta not choose this nigga at the end of the thing, right?" So <laughs> she didn't show up. I was mad. I was yeah. hurt. But then we ended up exchanging phone numbers. I think I yeah. fucked like the next week. Yeah, because I mean we can do that. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, nah, yeah, I fucked that. But y'all and don't she, win shit, like. No, nah, I ain't win shit. Like, okay. I, oh, I, I paid like two hundred dollars that day for that, but. Okay. Just oh, they damn, they ain't even sponsored a date. I mean, yeah, they sponsored that. Like, I ain't pay for the date. Oh, okay. It was just like, I, but I was on a date show. That That is... That's lit. That, that was fun, actually, yo. It sounds fun. That I shit. wanted to be on... I really wanted to be on Love Connection. She was... And she was older than me, too, at the time. So, like, I was, like, 23. She was, like, 27. Oh, shit. This was a minute. And she had... Yeah, I was, like, 23. She's like, 27. No, I was, like... Tw- no, I was 24. And she was 27. Because I did this okay. right when I moved out to LA. Like, yeah. in the first, like, two months. I was desperate, yeah. Like, I ain't Listen. give a fuck. <laughs> she was like, I was like 24. She's like 28. And I remember I was I was using her. I ain't gonna hold you. Because, like, <laughs> hey, she had her own spot. Yeah. She had, like, a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. Oh, I'm moving in. And she, yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> like, mo- I'm in here. I was in that bitch. <laughs> I was in there. Like, she had this... Man, that's another story. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I ain't gonna say her name because she, she a flight attendant now. Uh, but, yo, I miss you. God. Stop. But not like miss you like romantically. I no, miss no, you. I no, miss like, her. Like, yeah. yeah, she was cool. That's yeah, stability. She, yeah, because now I got stability. Now yeah. I, we, hey, I'm on your level, baby. We can, we can talk. You know what I mean? <laughs> and she a flight attendant? She Listen. A, fl- fly me. Listen, the only reason why I ain't getting into a relationship... It's cause I want to be fl- I want to be flown out before I get a girlfriend. I know I feel you. Fly me out. I've never been well. Right, well, once, so this is leading to your pussy is really not good. It was spirit. You've never been flown out. You've been flown out on spirit, and your <laughs> this nigga's inconsistent. No, you, listen. You might I don't, not. You no, might, I don't want that to be the narrative. So don't put that out there. Don't put tell people. I mean, we. I'm just you looking at listen. two facts. You've no, never been flown here's out. Here's the thing, though. You've never been flown out. Here's the thing. Real quick, I got a friend of mine. Hey, excuse me. You don't have to. You can just. You don't have to say who you are. Have you been flown out before? Yeah. You've been flown out. Yes. Uh, which airline was it? Uh, <laughs> what, yeah, what airline was it? Different ones, though. But it wasn't. Yes. Oh, it's more it than one. It was fair. It's more than one. Oh, okay. you've been flown out more than once. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So where though? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so where though? What do you mean? So where, it doesn't was matter. Was it domestic or international? Both. Both. <laughs> 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 she should know you right now. She should know you right now. Okay, listen. I don't she been wanna, flying out listen, domestic and thing. international. Here's the thing, though. I don't want to, you to put the narrative out there that my pussy is trash. Here's the thing. I. Like I said, I just turned 30, right? In my 20s. Excuse me, real quick. Were you flown out in your 20s? Yeah. Okay. No, no, Here's the... I'm getting to, <laughs> I'm getting to it. In my 20s, I was fucking broke niggas. Like, I'm like, that's... I'm going... I'm not... In, and I don't mean to... You know, it's not like a... I'm not trying to like shit on them, but... Real quick, real quick, real quick. Was, Were you fucking broke niggas in your 20s? No. See what I'm no, saying? it's different. Because I was dating older guys. See, that's... I, I date younger. I don't date guys older than me. Mm. Like the older, the uh. oldest probably was like maybe a year older than me. Uh. So I've only dated. <laughs> that's, what that's what I'm seeing. Now y'all see where I'm you coming. Up, I've sis. only dated younger <laughs> niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like I love young niggas or whatever. Why so, do you love young niggas? I, you sound, you, yo, how are you a cougar and you not even like. First of all, I'm not a cougar. I'm a puma right now. Okay? Well, how are you a puma and you're 30? Like this is weird. Listen. <laughs> I don't know. I just I always liked younger niggas. They just fucked this me better. Why, like it was just always. You don't like, have good pussy. Like, like why do you keep you saying don't, that? You've not been flown out. You've only been flown out on spirit. <laughs> and you're telling me that this nigga that you want to fuck is inconsistent. You're no, no, that's a, no. That's is, honestly because I really feel like he got a situation. No, he has. Like I really a hundred. Like I, I really can, feel niggas like niggas have. Got a situation. Uh, listen, niggas have always had situations since the beginning of time. Since David, you had, to really make me David, David, David in the Bible <laughs> had situations. Solomon had situations. 
Nigga, all these motherfuckers have situations. But stop saying my pussy trash is not. Yo. It's I, mad, like, it's mad decent. I'm not even, It's I don't, mad I'm, decent? No, 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 because I don't. It's I don't mad talk, decent? No, no. That's what you choose to Here's describe thing, your like, shit I don't talk about my pussy like that. Like, it's, it's. <laughs> Sis. I it's want better for you. Person, you I know want what better saying? for you. Like I can't say like, oh my pussy good. I don't know that, but I know it's not trash. It has to be. Well, how do? You, why would you say that? Because you would have been flown out, not on spirit. Would you say you have good dick? Absolutely. <laughs> and you've never been flown out. Th- that's different. It's not different. It is. You want to know why it's different? Do you want to know why it's different? How's different? Because women aren't supposed to fly men out. Like I've now, I'll tell you. You you want you you want you want you want me to give you the qualifications why I know I got good dick. Sure. Women have flown out to see me, and I okay. ain't paying for it. Okay. Uh, step. That's number one. Uh, number that's two. Uh, I think I got good penis because you know women have been on this podcast that have fucked me, okay. and nobody's had anything because we keep it a buck. Yeah. My best friend Asia, she would have kept it a buck. Like, look, Clint. Like, I'm gonna be honest. The shit was well, awful. Okay. Nobody has ever said that about me. Now me I know that I. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because <laughs> like my thing is, if you got good dick or good pussy, there's actions that go with it. Okay. Good dick is a verb. Good pussy is a verb. All right. I know really it's an adjective, but it's a verb to me. Okay. Because when you get when you got good dick and you get good and you got good pussy, you are going to you go you gonna you gonna you gonna get what you attract. Full circle. You see what I did there? So now, when you got good dick, yes, women come out to see me. You know, when you okay. got good dick, women drive to see me. All right? When you got good dick, women don't mind doing... Women buy me gifts. Women pay for my haircut. Women pay... Because I got good I just really dick. think it's and I've never been that, that I've never though. been that guy on this podcast I've always been modest and be like I don't got good uh, you know whatever no this dick is amazing alright <laughs> it's the Clint Coley experience god damn it okay. and you my sister Keisha we're gonna pray for your pussy right now dear heavenly father my pussy is lit and I see you make it's me not do what lit. I don't do I don't do this but I really think it's all about the guys that I fuck with like they don't you fuck not young able. okay when okay okay Okay, you fuck younger niggas. Yeah. Okay. Now, Usually, niggas how do they that, fuck you better than older niggas? Because like I'm not, we not talking about like forty five year old niggas. No. I mean, I've never fucked with an older nigga though. Like I've never fucked with an older. Nigga. Nobody's been older than you. Like you. Like all, a year or two, but I don't really count. That that's older. We, we're in the same range, and then like that okay. nigga, like the me and a nigga that was like the same age. Like he fucked me good. He fucked you good. He was like, he fucked me good. Actually, he's like he's top two. Top two. He's top two. I mean, top I don't two. want to know how many niggas you fuck. Yeah, like, absolutely not. Yeah, but you got you, he's top two. <laughs> he's top two. The, but but the that doesn't matter. If, wait, wait, top two don't mean nothing if you got three bodies. So no, no, no. I mean, you know, I'm seasoned. I'm okay. 30. You so 30? I'm seasoned. Okay. So, All right. but the youngest nigga I ever fucked was my number one. He was attentive. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was he was gentle. But also, younger niggas is gentle. I was listen, not listen. Let listen, me tell you something. Don't, I hey. fucked older women when I was in my twenties. Mm-hmm. When I was nineteen, I was fucking my boss who was forty six. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, when I was in that pussy, mm-hmm. nigga, she's the one that taught me how to go slow and be and be and be and like Clint. Not like, this nigga I, had it already. I never one time. <laughs> I, I was nineteen. I'm literally, ah, yeah, woo, yeah, woo, yeah, woo. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I be having way too much fun. My knees hurt, so I'm in there, and I'm in there. I'm like, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, mm-hmm. whoa, yeah. And then next thing I know, she's like, Clint, 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 what are you doing? Yeah, you, you, you it's not that serious, baby. I'm not there yet. She said, baby, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> She said, baby, she said, baby, I ain't going nowhere. The old bitches be having a game. I'm trying to she tell said, you. She said, baby, I ain't going nowhere. I felt so safe in that pussy. <laughs> like, you started making love, Raina. Miss Rayner, because I got respect. Stop it. I'm not about to. Miss no. Rayner. Miss Rayner. <laughs> no. Miss Rayner taught me how to fuck. She no. said, baby, I ain't going nowhere. So now you got to remember, I'm 19, she's 46. So that's like 19, 29, 39. She's like over 20 years older than me. So yeah. like now she in her like 60s, like early Ooh. 60s. I still yeah, fuck. Yeah, Miss She's fine. Ms. But Miss Rayner. <laughs> Miss Rayner. Like, oh, let me tell you a story about that. <laughs> so I'm not making this shit up. And my mom can attest to this story. And my boy Mo, my best friend Mo, one of my best friends. So me and Ms. Rayner was watching the Phillies. This was 2008. Mm-hmm. So no, actually, I'm not 19. I'm wrong. I was 21. So the Phillies in 2008, 
we're watching the World Series. Phillies winning the World Series in 2008. We're at a bar called Relish Uptown Philadelphia, right? And my mom is at the my mom, my, you know, Miss me, Miss Rain is there, and then my mom walks in. So me and her having drinks, eating, blah blah blah. And my mom was like, my mom was like, you not gonna introduce me to your little friend? Oh man. <laughs> Why mom, she do Miss Raina like that? And then the crazy part is, I said, I said, Mom, this is Miss Raina. Miss Raina, this is my mom. So hey, she said hey, and my mom was like, my mom was like, let me talk to you for a second over here, Clint. So I was like, how old is that woman? I said, you know, she like forty something. My mom was like, you think that shit cute? She said she old enough to be your goddamn mom. She said, what the fuck are you doing in my place? That I be that I be hanging out in <laughs> with some old bitch. She brought you to the old bitch spot. <laughs> so I get I my mom, I swear to God, I'm not making this shit up. So then my mom, we we go back and we start, you know, we, we go back and um we start we we continue the night, Philly's doing mm. well. Then my mom gets drunk and my mom walks over and she says, Y'all have a good night. And bitch, you too old to be fucking my son. <laughs> you need to find something better to do with your time, bitch. Man, my no. and my mom, my mom, I, my mom ruined the pussy for me that night. What? My mom, we and Miss Raina ain't been. It's like it's it's been waxed. Damn, since. but she should have understood though. Like Come first of all, on. we in this bar, we drunk, and Yo. I mean you are. Stella, and like then like, it's like whose side of my my mom is clearly wrong, but that's my mom. I mean, is she? Is she really wrong? Yeah. Like, you her son. Like, she literally Nigga, I'm like, 21. So what? Ain't no That's so what. Like Look, baby, mom, you really. full of shit. And you ain't here with Wait a minute. No, no, no. Mom, you full of shit. <laughs> mom, how you going How you gonna do some shit like that to your son, man? Your son is getting pussy. My dad, you know what my dad, okay, she you know what my you dad, dad said? Pussy. I told my dad I was fucking the older one. My dad said. Of course, because he knows. My he knows man. Things. My dad so said, my man. Know, like, and if my son, no if my son you. brings home, hey, I'm going to even say this to my godson. Hey, Brayton, you bring <laughs> home an older woman, bro. My, <laughs> my God. She knew that older my man had good intentions. Now, and I'm going to be honest. I got double standards. Hey, my, my daughter, you bring home an older nigga, me and him got to talk. Me and him got to talk. That's fair. Me and him got to talk, dog. I got to... I, I, that's what's a fair up? double standard to me. I mean, that's fair, dog. That's a fair double if my standard. my daughter... Listen, to my daughter, to my daughter, if you... If my daughter... I'm telling you right now, if you bring home an older... I'm, I'm yeah, it ain't... Life ain't fair, sis. But why, though? Because, man, men are, men are predators. Okay. Women are... I, I wish my daughter... Okay, let's take R. Kelly in this, in, 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 for this, man. For this instance. That's an extreme, but okay. I wish my daughter, I wish Robert Wood come to my house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Extreme. First of all, I'd be like, so, nigga, first of all, like, I'm a role play, all right? Let's okay. role play. Let's role play. Okay. It's my favorite shit in the pocket. <laughs> all right, you, my, your daughter. Okay. And I'm R. Kelly. I'm dating you. You 15, I'm 28, 29. And I'm, <laughs> that's fucked up. But I'm coming to your parents. Here we go. Okay. Introduce me to mommy and dad. Here we go. Hey mom, hey dad. This is Robert. <laughs> Robert, this is my mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need somebody to be my parents to react. Oh damn, this role play sucks. <laughs> um, I'll be I ain't gonna lie. If my dad, if my daughter brought home R. Kelly, first I'd be like, Yo, um, I got TP2.com over here. Do you mind signing it for me? See, uh, absolutely. Yeah, you got to sign. Like that's yeah, okay. I need you to sign because we're not even gonna front. Yeah, like, like all right, all right, I, I get it. Yeah. Nigga, but can, I, can you just sign this TP2 Please. real quick? <laughs> if you don't mind. After you sign TP2.com, now, nigga, the fuck? Yeah. Like, yo, man, I, I don't want to- But no, if we take the same- But I was, I can understand experience. if I was 16, This I was 20, now, I think my mom had flashbacks because I fucked my mom's friend when I was like 17. Oh, see this? Yeah, <sighs> I fucked my mom's friend. Absolutely. Yes. What you think I'll be making this gallon them sugar up? <laughs> I've See, been to so, Gallus so Dem Sugar. the thing, right? If your daughter was 21 and she brought home a 40, what you said, 5, 46 year old? 45. If my daughter's 21 and she bring home a 45, 46 year old. How would you react? I would be like, I'd be like, why well, can't I would I would be like, 
bro, why can't you get somebody your own age? And so that's how your mom felt about Miss Raina. Right, but Miss Raina wasn't, I didn't bring Miss Raina home. I brought Miss Raina to relish. But still, <laughs> I mean, because it's on site. It sounded like it was just on site with your mom. So I don't, I, but like, like, it's a difference because I didn't bring Miss Raina home. Like, I can understand if I brought her. But still wondering, like, what are you doing with my, my son? Because my mom like, know like, what you're doing. You, we fucking. Y'all in this, y'all in we this bar. We fucking. Getting drunk. You know what I'm saying? You but getting them But if my daughter is 21, my daughter has aspirations of getting married. For probably, I'm just okay. saying. And a 45 year old nigga probably not trying to do that. And why are you married a 45 year old nigga? So. No, no, like I would have had a problem. Like, look, we don't talk about this shit. But my dad is old, is nine years older than my mom. Okay. When my mom That's was eighteen, my dad was eighteen. My mom was nine because they grew up in the same neighborhood, so he knew her when she was nine. Mm-hmm. That's weird to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, we don't talk about that. How old? Much older? Jay Z forty. Jay Z fifty. 50. I'm sorry, Jay Z's yeah. fifty. Beyonce was born in the eighties, like me. Was she 81? Yeah. Yeah, and he born in 69. I mean... Nigga, that's 12 years. Yeah, if I'm Matthew knows, I got a problem, dog. But see, it's all about when they started fucking around. And, and you know what? It's so crazy. Wait a minute, I hold just... on. Sissy, sissy, whatever. Sis, 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 five, whatever. Your name is hard to pronounce. <laughs> sis says my husband was 21 years older than me. Oh, shit. Yeah, so... like, what the fuck? <sighs> that's a lot because what do we talk about like I like to talk I have nothing so to talk about. about I have nothing to talk about with a, with a, with a, right now Absolutely I mean I'm 32 I'm, I'm not I have nothing to talk about with a 19 year old that's what I'm saying like, nothing what we, and it's so crazy the other so, day yeah. I met I was at the laundromat and it was this nigga in there cute as fuck super fucking cute what is cute um, as fuck he was he just like kind of like pretty boyish I really don't fuck with pretty boyish you think like, I'm a pretty boy no okay he was like he was like pretty boyish. Like, like he had curly hair? That part. You know, okay. he had the little man bun shit. He had a man bun. He had a man oh, bun. Okay. But it was kidding. I usually don't fuck with niggas with man buns. I like the little waves and shit. But yeah. I was like, he he was really cute. But anyway, we like giving each other eyes and shit. Like, you know, every time I would look up, he would be like, you know, looking at me and shit. So I'm like, okay, look at you. But um so, <laughs> so wait a minute, somebody says, girl, we know you like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> at, at, at Dirt Jers. Up, at up. Dirt Jers See, says, girl, we know you like to talk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, so, okay. so like High five, bro. So anyway, before I left or whatever, I just I was putting myself in my car. Before I left, he was like, you know, hey, um, I just got to ask you, like, what's your name? I'm like, Keisha. He like, um, can I get <laughs> Keisha? You? That's how you say like, it? Can I get say it again? Number? Keisha. Because <laughs> now when I seen him, like, uh, now he's like in my face. So I'm like, damn, you're really like, he's really cute. So All I'm like, right. okay. So um, he like, can I get your number? Yeah, give my number. We texting or whatever. Now when I seen him, I'm like, okay, he's young, but I'm thinking like within my range. I'm, my range is 27 to 32. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, it's 27 32. Um, so I'm thinking he's in my range. We get the texting and shit, and he's like, I just, I asked him, like, what's your birthday? Because he said, I think he said he had a birthday coming up. So I'm like, oh, shit, what's your birthday? And he's like, Dece-, he's like, I turned 21 in <laughs> December or January, some shit like that. And I'm yeah. like, wait, you turn 21? Like. But did you fuck with him? Nigga, you, no, he's 20 years old. So he's grown? He's tw- he's not even 21. So That what? felt weird to me. That felt weird to me. What's the youngest nigga you fucked? Okay, so today. Cause like back in the today? day, no, I mean oh. like, no, I mean like at this point in time, um, no, the youngest I've ever fucked, I think I was like twenty five, and he was like nineteen, twenty, but that was like mm. I was twenty five, I was only twenty five, I'm thirty now, I can't fuck with a twenty year old, that just feel nasty to me, like at least twenty now when he turns twenty one, I might text him, but like, see what he's talking about, I'm a, I'm gonna see what that dick do, but. That's probably it. So you see, so on his birthday you go and text him like, hey, yeah. what that? I put up? it in my phone. Yeah, that's what you so, put his birthday in your phone. Yeah, what's his birthday? Let's see, I think it's like January. Yo, this is amazing, yo. It's you like got January dick appointment birthday, yo. You... No, cause I'ma just see what he's talking about. I'm not gonna. I'ma just see what he on. Like if you, you know. Wow. But I just felt weird. Oh, Alex. So this is nine now. Y'all nine years apart. Yeah. When were you? you January first. His birthday's January first. Yeah. Oh, nigga, this shit. <laughs> so that's what you doing? You going into 2020 with... with, with... I'ma just see. Because here's the I thing. Like and I like that. And I was over it. I, I like over that. It. Ladies. I was completely I over like it. That. But then I was watching Keisha Cole. She was on something. And her nigga like 24 and she's 38. Yo, and I'm yo, I'ma like, keep it a buck. Shit. Yo, Keisha Cole. I'm mad that you in a relationship. No, Keisha Cole bad as fuck. Like I wanted... Keisha Cole was my crush. And, and I didn't even... 38? 
Yo, I she I think I could, and I, I I believe I could bag Keisha Cole. Like if I saw Keisha Cole, I would shoot my. If I, if she wasn't in a relationship, she ain't mm-hmm. talking to me. She like me. I I, see that. I know for a fact because she just real cool like that. Like I, I'm some. I feel like I could bag anybody. Here you go. I my yo. That's what maybe that's that's another thing that came with being thirty. My, my confidence has went up. Like you know, I'm bag. I could bag Keisha Cole. I could any of these industry joints. They gonna be like, yo, watch. <laughs> I bet, I bet, I, mean, I believe you, that. But you're also blue check dick. Blue check dick. Wow. So that's have you a, ever had blue check dick? Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was it good? It was decent. It was decent. Yeah, so that means, it was decent. Uh, it was um, yeah, it was decent. Yeah. It was actually the first January first. It was New Year's. So Day. you went New Year's Day fucking blue check dick. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, it was alright. I've had blue check pussy. Really. Yeah, no, How was she, it? <laughs> I'm not going to say who it is because she's like super famous, like for real, for real. Okay. Um, She's way older than me. Oh. She's way older than me. Uh, she's like- You really like older women. I like all women. Okay. And she thick. I'm not going to say who it is. You really want to say- I, I do really want to say, know. I ain't going to hold you, but I'm not going to be messy because I, I, yeah. I, I respect her. Yeah. All right. But, yo, like- <laughs> Yo, we got oh my Look god. Look at your eyes right they now. Is, she <laughs> was they is, they is. somebody said Jill Scott. No, it wasn't Jill Scott. I love Jill Scott. It was not Jill Scott. Oh man. It was but man, this man. Who was it? I'm not I can't I yo, if I say it I'm like I, I'm gonna really regret it and okay, yeah, it can have a ripple effect yeah. on my career. I am not doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh man, blue check dick, blue check pussy. Okay. <laughs> Um, it really wasn't Jill Scott, y'all. I, I'm not. I wouldn't do that to her. Don't. I mean, no, I would do that to her. But I mean, Jill, I, I would. Jill, I feel like Jill Scott really got like magical. No, 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 no. It, it's a no. Jill Scott got. I know for a fact. I'm not saying because I fucked her. I'm saying yeah, no, no, no. I know somebody, nigga. Yeah. She bout it. She's just like she's bout it, yo. Like I feel like a hug from her would just be. I like, got a hug from her. Mm, I felt that energy. Yes. When yes. I hug, when I hug Jill Scott, dog. Listen, Jill. I don't know if you remember this. All right. It was <laughs> me, me and DL Hughley because she was filming at the time. She okay. was Filming a movie. Me and DL Hughley was at the uh, Improv in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. If you, if anybody goes to the Cleveland Improv, look in the green room. My signature, her signature is above mine. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, Philly was in the building. We, that was our connection that day. But she came to the show. Uh, I said on stage, I'm from Philly, and I killed it. She's like, Philly! Like, mm-hmm. literally said that. I walk off stage. I'm like, oh! Like, I'm like, oh! <laughs> like, oh, shit. So then after backstage, we talk. She's like, yo, you're really talented. Blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah, 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 right? And she hugs me. And when I hugged Jill Scott, it felt like, literally when I hugged her, you know yeah. what I heard? What? Woke up this morning. <laughs> Put a smile Listen. on my face. Man. Jumped out of bed. Took a shower. I'm dressed. saying she's not coming to LA, but I'm definitely going to New York to see her. Cleaned up my place. <laughs> Yo, nigga, that's what I felt when I read. I felt, is it? The, nigga, is, whoa. That's the, she that's gave me a beautiful part. hug. Oh, my God. Feel. So, anyway, but then, oh. And then, ironically speaking, this is how the world works too. Like two years later, right? Mm-hmm. So I did my, we did a pod, did a pilot uh, produced by Flavor Unit, like Shot Kim and Queen Latifah's company, right? Mm-hmm. Jill Scott was supposed to be the was supposed to be in the in the in the in the show, mm-hmm. but we it ended up having a last minute cancellation. We ended up getting Vivica Fox, mm-hmm. but Jill Scott was supposed like we she saw the script, all that. Yeah. Like this is just crazy. Anyway, Jill, okay. Here we go. So we got to do an Ask Clint. That's the best part of this podcast to okay. me. Ladies and gentlemen, Ask Clint is, you know, people ask me dumbass questions. I give them dumbass answers. All right. So wait a minute. Let's see. Wait a minute. All right. Here we go. Uh, Okay. Here we go. It says, hey, Clint. That's what they do. You know, they, hey, Clint. Hey, Clint. <laughs> So my homegirl was been with her man for a few months. They started as friends, and then several years later, his girlfriend passed. After his oh, several several years, and after his girlfriend passed, she was sick for a long time, and uh, she was sick for a long time, and she broke up with her now ex. They ended up together. She's been in therapy since, and she has grown tremendously. My concern is 
they always try to talk it through two days later. It's the same thing as something similar. He's a great guy. I love him for her, but he has some shit with him. Now, she can approach the conversation with uh, the getting help specifically and generally what what can we do as black women to help normalize and support black men and support mental health? I'm mm-hmm. a fairly new listener to the, and I love the podcast. Just listening to older and more recent episode and your growth is obvious, obvious and your openness about mental health pushed me to uh, get my black ass into therapy, therapy because your girl was tripping. I didn't even realize it. Thanks in advance. Okay. Um. First of all... Uh, Fuck, come on, man. Why y'all be doing this, man? When you sending me <laughs> ass cleansing, y'all be y'all talking about some. Oh, you pushed me to go to therapy and making me feel good and all what warm and fuzzy. Right? I don't want to feel warm and fuzzy inside, man. No, I'm playing. Thank you, baby <laughs> girl. I appreciate you. Love you for that. All right, so let's talk about this. Basically, what she asked me was this. She wants to know. First of all, I think sis is her. I don't think she's talking about her Absolutely. best friend. I think yeah. it's her. I'll she say knows. That too. She knows way too much. Yeah. <laughs> so here's what I believe. You're asking, you know, how do you get a guy to want to go to therapy? Mm-hmm. That's really it. You know, basically, he has he's had some trauma. Mm-hmm. You can't make anybody do anything they don't want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you, what do you think first, and then I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll piggyback. Okay, cool. Um, it's crazy. Me and my sister were just talking about a situation like this. Her best friend's um husband, um his mom passed, and like he tried to talk to her about it. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't want to talk to him for some reason. So me and my sister is like, yo, you first of all, that's your husband. Like, you have to talk to him. Like, I don't give a fuck if you don't want to talk about it or whatever. Like, at least listen. Right. Be there to listen. So I think that's one of the keys right. is just first you being like, you know, being open to listen to whatever he has to say if he needs to talk or encouraging him like, hey, babe, what's on your mind? You know what I'm saying? You want to talk about anything? Like, how's your day? What's been on your mind lately? Whatever. Just getting that from him yourself is like an an important part of it. Um, And then, you know what I'm saying? If y'all talking, if y'all get to talking about some deep shit, just let him know like, you know, I'm not a licensed therapist, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but I think going to therapy will really, really help. You know what I'm saying? That'll help you dig deeper right. and, and get into more shit. You right. know what I'm saying? And just, just like leading him in that direction. You don't have to tell him like, Ugh, nigga, you need to go to therapy because whatever. You know what I'm saying? But leading him, just pushing him in that direction, I think that'll help a lot. Mm. Um, I hear you. Uh, I think that yeah, I believe you can't get somebody to do something they don't want to do, but mm-hmm. I think that. You should. It's it's encouraging. You know, um, therapy is very important. It's, it's very important. People who don't understand the, the the effect that it could have on your life. Um, I believe in therapy. I'm wholeheartedly uh, in in agreement agreement. But my advice to you, sis, I think you should try to just just suggest it. Should mm-hmm. suggest it and say, hey, have you ever thought about therapy? Have you ever felt like therapy was great? Have you ever, you know like yeah. Like have a conversation about therapy and see where he is with it. Yeah. You know, and if or tell him, hey, look, try it out. It's on me for the first session. Mm-hmm. If you feel like you don't like it, then I I understand, but just try it. Can you do that for me? Yeah. I, that's what I think. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of men are just reluctant to it. They don't want to do it. They feel um, a certain I mean, type of way. I think about a lot it. of people. I, I I mean, men too, but a lot of people are. It's 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 yeah. Because you got to look at the man in the mirror. Yeah. And that's hard to do. And I f- also feel like it depends on age, too. Like, I know older, the older de- generation, yeah. you they fucking, definitely you are out here like, fucking nah. these young dudes. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, like, the older guys, they probably yeah, like, Yeah, no, nah, no. If you were in your 60s, yeah, you know? I mean, yeah. Like, you even know? 40s, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, early 30s. Like, it, it's looked at a certain way. But I feel like with the younger generation, the millennials or yeah, whatever yeah. the hell, they're more, like, more likely to be like, no, nah, let me go see right. what's up with me. So, right. For sure. Yeah. All right. Well, look, yo, we've come to the end of the podcast, man. Um, you know, we always we always ask at the end of the podcast, what did you learn today? So here we go. What did you learn? Uh, I learned that um, I I learned that I, I want a part time relationship. Want a part time relationship. I've been lying to myself. Okay. So. All right. No yeah. problem. And I learned today that uh, you pussy stretch. No, I know you don't say that. It is, and uh, it's not trash. I think um, you know if you if you need lessons. Um, you know what. If you, mean, you fucked me before, yeah. If you please fu- let Clint know, but see, I don't do that. Yo, listen, fellas. If you've had sex with, Keisha, <laughs> if you ever had, if you ever if had, you've sex had with me, sex with Keisha, if you listen to this Clint podcast, now he giving me tight. Like my shit not trash. You feel me? All like, right. 
All right. So let them know. All right, so know? fellas, if you've had sex with Keisha and you listen to advice from a fuckboy, DM me at Clint Coley or add advice from an FCK boy, fuckboy on Instagram or whatever. And uh, DM me and tell me if Keisha pussy trash. All right? It's just between us. We won't release the updates. And then I'll <laughs> let, you, let you know by yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for listening to another episode of Vice Versa. Keisha, plug which you, which you, uh, plug your, your information. I think I think they gonna like you. I think they gonna like you. I hope so. Yeah, I think they like you. I hope so. But um, I'm you Neo do talk so- a lot, but you good. <laughs> I'm Neo So Coco. That's N E O S O U L C O K O. Um, and the podcast I'm on with my sister, it is Coco and Connie Podcast. And um, yes, yeah, that's, that's me right now. Um, some stuff gonna be coming up next year, but I'll let y'all niggas know next year. You let Um, y'all niggas know. Don't be talking to my (laughs) my folks like that. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for listening. Don't forget DC, 27th, 28th. Don't forget Philly, December 30th. Don't forget LA, January 14th. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for laughing. Appreciate y'all. Have a good day.